Hello, this is mindphp.com. Today, I'm going to show you on how to save the data from XML to the database. First, let's create a table in our database. Let's go to our Joomla database hosting. Then let's create a new table. We're going to copy the first word, then paste it. Then on my example, I have MD hosting companies, number of columns, 11. We will have ID, name, company logo, address, description add by approve approved by publish metadata and meta keyword Now, in the ID type, it's in, then 11, and auto increment. On the name, Varkar, company logo, Varkar, 255, 255, Varkar, Just follow. On the approve, we have tiny one in the land and approved by worker two by five. Then publish tiny one metadesk worker two by five and with a keyboard to go so here now after creating a successful table now let's go to our controllers folder and start editing the host file so let's start and create a new function function save now let's check the token sent from the form so they request check token now let's store the names they form post from the form into the variable Now let's retrieve the object from the class in model. Let's call the method save in model. So if models Now let's save our report. Set message. Save successfully.
or else if it's not successfully saved then let's create an error message So let's set a landing page. Now we were done with our save method in controllers. So let's go to our models folder then. Go to host.php. Let's create a function save. Now let's retrieve the object DBO for database management. Update factory. Get video. Let's convert the data from the form in the form of object. Let's add the data to the table. So let's create an X. SQL try this is the name of our table and the hosting companies. Now If there is an error message, then it returns to keep false. Set error. Now this is the bonus. Now the okay. Now we were done. So let's go to our sample 
then refresh it. Let's add a new tab. For example, mine page. Oh, I think it's not inserted in the database. Let's check. Nothing's wrong. Let's go to our tutorials. Now, here, delete S. Now, let's try to refresh it. Now uh, successfully saved. Let's check to our database. Refresh. Perfect. Check. Now successfully. Have a good day.